Whatever is blocking your fruitfulness. I say be removed. Be removed. Be removed right now. Whatever is causing your barrenness. Be removed right now. My name is Arwendo Sinkamba Mjindu. And the person beside me is my husband, Trifold Mjindu. With our lovely baby, Chavilo Mjindu. The reason why I contacted God's Heart TV was the reason of barrenness. I've been married for a good five years without a child. Every time I fall pregnant, it could end into a miscarriage. I had three miscarriages. Uh, after three miscarriages, I had gone to the hospital. Then they told me I'd got a problem of hormone imbalance, of which I was put on medication. And in 2021, I conceived. Unfortunately, I lost the baby after carrying the pregnancy for nine months. The whole process caused me to be so depressed. I was feeling very sad. Sometimes when I'm driving, I would even cry on myself. I would go to bed crying, thinking that God wasn't on my side. Seeing other, other women carrying their children, it was quite a difficult situation as a woman on my side. Then in 2023, last year, I came to know about God's Heart TV through my mother. That's how I sent through my prayer requests. And to the grace of God, I was invited for an, for an interactive prayer service in February. I was so happy to receive that invitation. Definitely, I, I believe that all my problems have been solved. After the interactive, I kept on sending prayer requests. And by the grace of God, in May 2023, I was able to conceive with without any medication. I conceived naturally. I carried the pregnancy, then I gave birth in 2024 February to a healthy, bouncing baby boy. Two weeks before the delivery, I received a direct call from Brother Chris, of which he encouraged me to remain faithful and free my heart from any offense. By the grace of God, on 1st February, I delivered without any complications, both the baby and myself, we came out healthy and in, in good sound. I also had a great testimony on my career breakthrough. I've been working, but I've been dreaming of working in a certain company of my company, of which that dream came true. In December, I received a call that I've been given a contract by that company that I've been dreaming of, and I'm now working with a better salary and good conditions. I no longer feel any sadness. It's all joy over me. My past is over. It's all joy in the family and in the house. We are rejoicing by the grace of God. My name is uh, Muchindu Triford from Zambia, uh, specifically Rusaka. We got married in 2019. It has been a roller coaster for us. Imagine from uh, that time until this time, this is when we are receiving our firstborn son. It is never easy seeing other people carrying babies. Maybe just after getting married, they have their blessings. But for us, it was a different story. We had to wait this long. At times, even as a man, tears were rolling. But at the end of the day, I needed to be strong because if I give up, what would be of her? Uh, seeing my my wife uh, going through the pain she was going through, having those miscarriages. At some point, we felt like giving up. But glory be to God, indeed, uh, he's a God of promises. Like my wife has put it in uh, last year, she joined interactive prayers with Brother Chris. Uh, we were there supporting her or along. Most of the times I could join when I'm allowed. We could uh, pray together. We could uh, keep on pressing faith and everything was built back. The confidence was built back, back to our life indeed. And like she has put it, nearing the due date for her to give birth, uh, we received a di direct call. In, she, she was encouraged. It just brought that hope in her life that, that indeed she was going to do it. And finally in February, that was 1st February, we welcomed our, our son here. 
as you may see. It has never been a good journey, but at the end of the day, there is right at the end of the tunnel. Thank free, he is the God of promises and he fulfilled that promise to us. He fulfilled that God is time is the best and indeed we are in his time through the prayers, through the encouragements and through you, our God is heart community. Indeed, we are very thankful to you and also to Brother Chris and everyone else who supported us in our trying moments. The word of encouragement is that they should not give up, they should not despair, they should keep on pressing, they should keep on believing in God and also uh, believing that one day it shall come true. We are also encouraged by the story of Abraham's wife who never conceived and only conceived at a time when they were old. So that gives us hope that any time God can make miracles, God does not let his own suffer. He's a God of miracles. He's a God of wonders. And that wonder will come one day. My word of advice to the viewers all over the world is to keep on praying. God's time is always the best. I delayed in conceiving, but finally, when the time came, God has blessed me. So keep on praying. Free your heart from any offense and keep on pressing. God will surely answer our prayers in Jesus' name.